The NBA math trade deadline primer with Coach Spins moves to the Hoosier State looking at the Indiana Pacers. Indy has surprised many this season with their great production, especially from the newly acquired Victor Oladipo. Oladipo's ascent to all-star status has propelled the Pacers towards the playoff picture. Many thought coming into this season the Pacers would be rebuilding out in the Eastern Conference, and it still stands that they don't have a lot in their long-term core other than Victor Oladipo and stretch big man Miles Turner. The question for the organization now becomes what can they do to add another star player, and can they do so without having to give away major assets? The Pacers designed this post-Paul George roster to have many short-term contracts on it, especially giving veterans a chance to redeem themselves. The Pacers' best asset at the trade deadline is the nearly $6 million in cap space they have remaining this season. Beyond that, there are three veteran players that will be easy to move if they choose because of partial guarantees in their contract next year. Boyan Bogdanovich and Darren Collison are the best of the group, and they have $1.5 million and $2 million guarantees for next season respectively. The deadline to pick up those options is before free agency begins on July 1st though, meaning Indiana has to decide soon if they want to cash out on those guys or keep them for next season. The Pacers could try to move big man Al Jefferson as part of a larger package at the deadline. Jefferson is signed for $10 million next season, but only $4 million of it are guaranteed. Combine that factoid and his $9.8 million salary this season with Indiana's cap space, and it could allow them to be a little bit more aggressive in adding a win-now piece at the deadline. Long term, the Pacers are trying to set themselves up to be a player on the free agent market. They project to be far beneath the luxury tax for next season, and could have up to $60 million in cap space if most of their player options and unguaranteed contracts work out their way. Even if they don't, the summer of 2019 predicts to be a big one for the Pacers, as they could have north of $90 million in cap space. A player to watch for Indiana is Thaddeus Young, the veteran swing forward. If the Pacers are sold on trying DeMontis Sabonis and Miles Turner together in their front court long term, Young might still have some value as a trade asset. He's greatly improved his consistency from three these last two seasons, is a good inside-outside threat, and plays hard on both ends of the court. It's not likely the Pacers are super active at this trade deadline or are even shopping any of their individual players. However, because of their cap space and their open roster spot, they do need to stay open to all options.